watching this now, I think a third time, um, it amazes me that um, you really, you ask some really, really tough questions. There's some, it's really depressing. There's really... This is something that really embezzles me. Should go and take history books and study history, the history of the Jews. We didn't, we didn't come from the moon. We are not like the Palestinians. We were a Western people, and we were in Europe many years. We had the Holocaust, and so on and so forth. So this should be studied. Uh, it'll suffice by what uh, I'm saying here, because the history is different, and the culture is different. This is number one. Now, what you're saying about the 13 people who were killed in the October uh, uh, events uh, in uh, in Israel, uh, 2000, uh, in the year 2000. There was an, investi an investigative committee right after those events, and they blamed Ari Kron, and he had to quit his job. So the country is not exactly of the same opinion. They blamed the police. Why did you shoot? You didn't have to shoot. He understood his orders and went very fast to the gun and uh, shot people and killed 13 people. But I think, to be optimistic at last, uh, I, I, I would like to think that the police in Israel have learned their lessons. And they are not repeating an approach, although in, uh, uh, with the Druze it was bad as it was before, but I believe there were not, no people killed, killed there, only wounded. Because the police are now acting very, very carefully. In Akko, for example, they didn't go by force. In. You remember the last uh, in Yom Kippur. Uh, so they're very careful. And I'll tell you a story about the uh, police. 